Welcome to News Business and Finance. Pelosi says USPS Postmaster General told her he has no intention of replacing the sorting machines and mailboxes that have been removed. Postmaster General Louis DeJoy told House Speaker Nancy Pelosi he has no intention of replacing the mail counting machines and mailboxes that have been removed in precincts across the country, the congressional leader tweeted. Earlier today, I spoke with Postmaster General DeJoy regarding his alleged pause in operational changes, Pelosi tweeted Wednesday afternoon. During our conversation, he admitted he has no intention of replacing the sorting machines, blue mailboxes, and other infrastructure that have been removed, she added. DeJoy has been under scrutiny for changes he's made that hamper the Postal Service's ability to turn around mail quickly amid President Donald Trump's continued efforts to cast doubt on the legitimacy of mail-in voting. Both DeJoy and Trump have said the recent rollbacks of machines and mailboxes are part of a plan to financially strengthen the Postal Service. The nationwide slowdown of mail shows no signs of turning around anytime soon, with the Postmaster General telling House Speaker Nancy Pelosi that he has no intention of replacing any of the mailboxes or sorting machines that have been removed from precincts across the country in recent weeks. According to a tweet from the House Leader, Nancy Pelosi, at Speaker Pelosi, August 19, 2020. Postmaster General Louis DeJoy recently released a statement promising to halt changes to any of the Postal Service's operations that would affect voting in the 2020 election. The statement didn't specify whether any measures he's already taken would be changed back or replaced. Earlier today, I spoke with Postmaster General DeJoy regarding his alleged pause in operational changes, Pelosi tweeted Wednesday. During our conversation, he admitted he has no intention of replacing the sorting machines, blue mailboxes, and other infrastructure that have been removed. The Postmaster General's initial announcement came after widespread backlash over changes to postal service operations, billed as cost-cutting measures, that delayed mail delivery in pockets of the country. Democrats have said they worry the changes could delay the delivery of mail-in ballots in November. Over 20 states have sued the USPS over the operational changes, and DeJoy is set to testify before the Senate on Friday, and the House on Monday. Meanwhile in Michigan, mail sorting machines have been found dumped in a parking lot with their power cords severed, according to a report from Heather Walker of Wood TV, an NBC affiliate. Heather Walker, at underscore Heather Walker, August 19, 2020. Those machines are critical for turning around large amounts of mail in highly populated areas, and postal workers have told reporters that their removal significantly harms their ability to get deliveries out on time. Some of the changes including removing the sorting machines and collection boxes have been underway for years, since before DeJoy took over as the head of USPS. Many were implemented in response to an overall decline in mail volume. If you stayed and watched to the end of this video, we want to thank you for your support. We are new and dedicated to bringing you the most up-to-date news business and finance on a daily basis. We welcome you to join us on this platform, and together let's build an informative community. So if you like this video, and would like to see more contents like these, please leave a comment in the description box below, give it a big thumbs up. Share and don't forget to click on the subscribe button and turn on all notifications, so you would be alerted every time we've uploaded a new video. Thank you for watching.